Hey everybody, I'm back with another retro unboxing, and today we're going to be unboxing another one of the Dolls of the World, uh, the Princess Collection, Collector's Edition. Uh, this is the Princess of India Barbie. And uh, she actually came out, I think, um, a year before uh, the last ones that I opened. Because uh, her box has a different date on it. Hers says 2000 and not 2001. So she either came out super early that year or she came out the other year before. I'm so confused. Um, but either way, <laughs> she did come out. Uh, her box says 2000 on them. And uh, as you can see, it was bought in on clearance originally at T KB Toys. So there's a throwback. KB Toys has been away for a long time. I miss KB Toys. Anyhow, uh, as you can see, this box has been opened and it's kind of damaged. So uh, this box is going to be one that we open up and not feel bad about. <laughs> so... Going to read the bio in the back and the little story that it says. Uh, we have Princess of India Barbie doll. India, a magnificent country ruled by the powerful Mahara, hopefully I said that right, or a great king, still celebrates an ancient culture, timeless and eternal. She embraces the past while looking to a future of great promise. Here in the market of the ancient city, ancient Indian city, people bustle about their business. Men wearing turbans ride elephants while snake charmers work their magic. Women sell colorful clothing and the music of the center, a stringed lute-like instrument, fills the air. In this wonderful city stands a majestic castle of shimmering white marble. Tall, slender towers rise delicately from each corner. In this mahal, or palace, lives a glorious woman. Her long black hair frames her delicate features. Very beautiful and wise, she is the... Rakamari, 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 Rajahamari, or Princess. Sorry if I butchered that name. She is awe inspiring as she wraps her sari, the best known type of Indian clothing, made of soft shimmering materials interwoven with golden threads. The sari belongs to a princess, and so is very special. The sari is draped around her body and over her head in an intricate style, following methods handed down through the generations from mother to daughter. Radiant in all of her glory, the princess goes to the, her castle, <laughs> oh, goes to her Ramahar, the king's son. She offers the namate, namesta, namesta, the common Indian greeting of a small bow performed with palms touching. That's cool. Princess of India Barbie doll reflects the majesty, the majesty, no, the, ma the majesty, hmm of an exotic land. Her extraordinary pink sari features golden accents. Like some princesses, she wore she wears a golden headpiece called a tika, a forehead ornament. The tika hangs above her bindi, the dot on her forehead. This wonderful imperial costume is completed by earrings and a golden choker. So here you also will see a picture of the Barbies that belonged to this series of the dolls. You have the Princess of Incas, the Princess of India, and then the Princess of the French Court. Both two that we do have and we are 
going to have a review for um, on this channel. Um, let's see. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get her out of her box, since she's already mostly out of her box anyway. Um, I, I'm ready for another completely gorgeous doll. For I, before I completely unbox her, I wanted to show you the background. Um, that looks like it's her castle in the background. And I also want to note that she also came wearing her sandals like the last girl came wearing her shoes. Um, and not in a bag. So. Okay, that was weird. I found a piece of Velcro in her box. I don't think this came with her. I think because her box was open that something fell in. But, um. Okay, guys. All right, so I don't even know. I, 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 she's super gorgeous. Look at those eyes. She has um, a really dark brown eyeshadow on, and her eyes are looking to the right. You can see they're looking to the right. They're very expressive. And then she has her little um, Hyundai dot in the middle there that is the same color as her lips. It's a really... Um, I don't know, like a really, really, really dark rouge. And then she has her headpiece, which, if you can look up at it close, it it, it attaches to her head. I don't know how it is. I think it's threaded to her forehead. And then there's a thread that goes back to, um, I don't know. Uh, either way, she has a really, really dark, dark brown hair. And let's see if I can get a close-up of her earrings and stuff. Because she's very jeweled out. Okay. So here's her earrings. They're um, a gold metallic. They're dangly. They're really, really pretty. There's her choker. That's really pretty as well. She's got this nice um, gold lining that goes into her, um, her shirt. Oh, so her shirt underneath is a belly shirt. Almost, um, almost genie-like, I guess. I guess that would be the per the correct... And the material, oh my goodness, I don't even know how to describe it. It's uh, Maybe it's just cotton, but it has a poof sleeve right here, if you guys can see that. And, um, she's very covered because, you know, uh, back in the day, and even now, women are not supposed to expose more than what they need to. Uh, when they're in a public place, so they have to cover themselves up, and um, they they do a good job with it. This 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 beautiful wrap that goes around her, I I can't even deal with it. It's it's got gold accents in it, and it's got some some really really dark dark purpley blue accents. We got some paisley going on there, and some other different type of design. Oh, she's so gorgeous! All right, and then it matches her dress. Her dress is like a, I think it's a skirt. Let me see here. Let's see, let's pull that out of there. Is it a skirt or is it a dress? I think it's a skirt. Is that one piece? No, it's a skirt. It's a high it's a high waisted skirt that matches um that matches her um shawl or head shawl or whatever you want to call it. She also has sandals on, and the sandals look like they're so the the sandal part is a kind of feltish, and then I don't know what that's called, but it's like a stretchy type metallic material that kind of they kind of made into the tie, which is pretty cool. And her skirt has an underlining to it. Go figure. Uh, some tool to go underneath it to give it a little bit of hoof, I think, to give it a little bit of, of a poof. And I'm assuming that there's no under no undergarment or anything. Because uh, the other ones didn't have it, so. But, um, yeah. Yeah, she's absolutely gorgeous. Let's see if we can get a look at her hair. Look how long her hair is, guys. Look how long that hair is. It's so long that it can't be covered up. So, this shawl is actually attached to the top of her head, so I'm not going to pull it off. But um, for articulation, she has the same as the rest of them. Her head goes up and down, back and forth, side to side, like a regular Barbie ball joint. Uh, she has the straight arms. She has straight arms, uh, no elbow joint or wrist joint. They just go up and down and uh, back and forth. She also has um, her legs to go up and down and, um, so she can sit. And she has the click joints like all the other ones do. So you can bend her knees that click. So they have a little bit of mobility. 
uh, for the dolls over time, that was really good. And, uh, even for dolls of now, um, there was one thing that I did not point out that I wanted to point out. If you guys look really closely, it's kind of hard to tell on camera. Uh, she has a, um, a painted on nose ring. It's really subtle. Ah, oh, it's really hard to see. Let's see, guys. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Yeah, maybe you can see that there. She has a nose ring right there. So that's pretty cool as well. So a little bit of body piercing. <laughs> and then, of course, her stand. They. It, it seems like all of them have came with black stands except... Um, to the Queen of the Nile, which maybe the stand didn't belong to her to begin with. Maybe. Um, I don't know. Then, of course, she also comes with um, her official certificate. She comes with an identification certificate uh, to prove that she was um, she's an actual genuine Barbie that came through them and their designers. So that was actually really cool of them to include that. And then she comes with a two-year warranty, and then she comes with a little card that you can send out for a Barbie magazine called Barbie Bazaar. Um, and her registration, and then a little bit of an advertisement there for Barbie Bazaar. So, yeah. That's all we have for you guys today. Um, let me know in the comments below what you think of this girl. I think she's awesome. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. And I, I, and I do appreciate and love when Barbie goes outside their box, and they don't, like, just give Barbie's face clothing. They, I mean, she's... This mold looks like... Now, maybe it's not, but this seems like a genuine mold for this doll, which breaks my brain. At 1995, back then, uh, you know, that's, what, almost 20 years ago, you got this gorgeous doll. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the world, but... Um, absolutely perfectly gorgeous. I can't... I can't... Uh, I, oh, I'm so happy to add her to my collection. So yeah, if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.